Ever noticed how the Indian government and the Indian system has been slandered as intolerant and high-handed in India ever since a particular man came to power in the country? Rana Ayub, a left-leaning journalist for example, wrote an op-ed in Washington Post that reads, threats and censorship are the price for questioning narratives about Kashmir. And guess what? Despite the threats and censorship, that op-ed hasn't been taken down till date. Only in India can you claim that there is censorship without actually getting your content censored. But when the same left-leaning ecosystem tries to talk about other regimes, it starts realizing what it means to get trolled and worse, censored. This is what happened when Rana Ayub tried to condemn Saudi Arabia over the Yemen war. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush and if you haven't subscribed to TFI English yet, please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to receive all the recent updates. Coming back to the story, I will tell you why the Saudis and Emiratis declared Rana Ayub a terror sympathizer. Let's begin. Rana Ayub is angry at the Indian right wing because Saudis and Emiratis are trolling her and the Indian right is poking fun at her. She tweeted, Saudi trolls are being cheered on by Modi supporters in India. You missed nothing. She also said, Indian right wing is dancing with glee because Saudi trolls are attacking me for my tweets on the genocide in Yemen. But how did Rana Ayub, who fights against Islamophobia, end up getting trolled by Saudis and also by Emiratis? I mean, Saudi Arabia is the undisputed leader of the Muslim world. So why should Saudis criticize an activist who opposes Islamophobia? Well, this has to do with Yemen and one of Ayub's tweet about the Yemen war. Ayub tweeted, Yemen is bleeding and there is nobody to stop the bloodthirsty Saudis. These are people who call themselves the custodians of Islam. As a Muslim, I am ashamed that these savages are guarding the holy mosque. The world cannot stay silent through this genocide. Hashtag Yemen under attack. Now Saudi Arabia leads a multinational coalition against the Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen. It is the Houthi rebels who started the Yemen war. They are the ones who stormed Yemen's capital, Sana'a, and took control of the city in January 2015. They were trying to overthrow the legitimate Yemeni government. And the Saudi-led coalition joined the war effort against Iran-backed Houthis only after a request for military assistance made by Yemeni President Abdurabu Mansour Hadi. So Saudis naturally got angry for being labelled bloodthirsty for a war instigated by the Houthi militia. Saudi anger soon galvanized into relentless criticism on social media. Saudi engineer Ghassan, for example, called Rana Ayub's tweet fake news. Ghassan added, Saudi Arabia has launched military operations in Yemen as a part of a coalition of over 10 countries in response to a direct request from the legitimate government of Yemen, we supporting legitimate and you supporting terrorists. And then many other Saudi netizens started trolling Ayub. As if Saudi netizens weren't enough, even Emirati social media users seemed to be enraged over what Rana Ayub had to say about Yemen. Hassan Sajwani, an Emirati billionaire, said the likes of Rana Ayub are the biggest culprits. Under the smoke screen of quote-unquote humanitarian voice, they constantly back Houthi, Hamas and Muslim Brotherhood-aligned groups. Ms. Rana forgot that Houthis killed two innocent Indians, her countrymen, last week in Abu Dhabi. Shame. He also tweeted, Aslam Walekum Ranayu, the Houthis you have been defending have just fired two ballistic missiles towards my city this morning. Thankfully, we intercepted. Will you condemn them for targeting innocent Abu Dhabi civilians? Of course, no. Meanwhile, Indian netizens are having fun making Rana Ayub realize that not all countries are as tolerant as India. Rana Ayub thinks that Modi supporters are cheering Saudi trolls, but in reality, Many of them only want to point out how India and the Arab world are different. India tolerates whatever is being said and in many times, Indian netizens simply ignore propaganda. However, Saudi Arabia and even the UAE are very different and Rana Ayub is realizing this the hard way. This is Piyush signing off until the next one.